Tony here with CE Auto Electric Supply. Today I want to show you uh, one of the many, many parts that I'm using in my third book published by Cartech Books. Uh, the name of the book is called Carb to EFI and it's an entire book about converting from carburation to electronic fuel injection. Now you may have remembered from my second book, Automotive Electrical Performance Projects, um, we had a 1970 Olds Cutlass S featured um, and we used that vehicle for a couple of projects uh, improving the performance of the stock lighting um, a proper battery relocation and also improving the performance of the charging system and that vehicle is currently outfitted with um, your basic satin 12 SI series alternator and uh, we're going to need quite a bit more output than what that unit is capable of um, as we are using that vehicle in the third book uh, and converting to a complete Holly Dominator EFI system. So between the uh, um, requirements for the new EFI fuel pump and all the EFI electronics, um, the existing 12SI alternator just doesn't have enough oomph. So I called up my buddy Matt at Mechman and he uh, prepared a uh, 12 SI alternator for us um, in their Billet Tech series. And this thing is really slick. Um, number one, as you'll notice, it's black anodized. So this is going to look just gorgeous under the hood of that, uh, that old. Um, one of the interesting things about this particular alternator is there's really not a good place on the rear of it to connect a ground cable. So as it comes out of the box, you know, Mechman has already done that for us and they've got a nice two gauge ground cable connected right to the case of the alternator and that's going to give us, you know, the best performance um, from this alternator when we have the return path upgraded appropriately. Um, this has got a 5 16 output stud and it's got a newer style regulator than what the 12 SI in that vehicle came with originally. Um, I do prefer three wire alternators, um, you know, or excitable, and uh, this does have a circuit that we can excite with the stock um, circuit and utilize the stock dash lamp, the idiot lamp, for the charging system. So, just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, specification wise, uh, this thing really delivers, um, makes uh, about 141 amps at idle, which is defined as 800 engine RPM in over 170 amps at cruise. So that'll be more than sufficient for our uh, Dominator EFI system and uh, big Holly fuel pump to uh, really perform well. So stay tuned. Um, this new book will be out next year. I've just got to get it done. Talk to you guys soon.